For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever, even you, believe on Him shall not, shall not perish but have everlasting life. In the Bible, the King James 1611 Bible, we have the hope of Jesus Christ who is God, and God that is Jesus Christ forever and everlasting. There is a time that Jesus will come, but no man knoweth the time, he says. Now, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says, Behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Oh, what the Bible says about our sin atonement to God is nothing that we can do. There is no way if we were to die that we would enter into the gates of heaven on our own merit. The Bible says, Jesus says unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And when Jesus says that he is the way, there can be no other way because the definite article is the. So when we think we can get to God in absence of what God said, Jesus Christ, we find that Jesus is the way, he's the truth, and when we find out when we got another way, we are in a lie. When we know who the father of lies is, the father of lies is Satan, John 8, 44. So Satan's job would to be deceive us and thinking that we're okay, that we have a religion, but religion cannot save. Religion cannot get you to God. When Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, eternal life of hope and joy and peace cometh by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. You cannot think that Catholicism, Baptism, Atheism, Scientism, Jehovah's Witnesses, you cannot think those ways will get you to God. Because they are void. They are man-made. And Jesus Christ is God-approved. So when we look at Jesus and says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, there's no other way but a lie, and there's no other life but hell outside the faith and belief of Jesus Christ. We also find about the Lamb, and we find the next part of the Bible in Exodus chapter 12, if I may run to the Old Testament, for speaking to the children of Israel about their Passover night. The night that they will be redeemed out of Egypt, out of the world, to become God's people. And to be settled forever as God's people, as He will promise them a land and drive them to that land. Now today we're not interested in a land. We are interested in New Jerusalem. We are interested in a place called the abode of God, New Jerusalem. And God the Father, the same God of the Jews, today for all those that believe on Jesus Christ, will be leading to that promise found in the Bible. In Revelation 20, 21 and 22. And it says, Speak ye over the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take every man a lamb. Now there were all kinds of lambs that time in the land of Egypt. Those shepherds are abomination to the Egyptians. God said to the Jews, take a lamb. 
He didn't say take an ox. He didn't say take an ass. Take a dog, a whale, a sea cow. He said take a lamb. And you got to realize when God says, and you don't do, you are sinning. And we talked about that a couple weeks ago. God said a lamb, so an animal that God prescribes for sin is a lamb. But we read further in Exodus 12. According to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And the household be too little for the lamb. We've gone from grabbing the lamb of all the lambs. You say, what are the lambs? Well, Calvinism is a lamb. Methodist is a lamb. Atheism is a lamb. Baptist is a lamb. Your religions are the lambs. Your beliefs are lambs. Your thoughts, your ideas are lambs. And God says, grab an idea. But of all your ideas, grab the lamb. In the world today, the Lord Jesus Christ is settled among all the world. There are many Jesuses out there, Paul says. Lamb. But God says there's the lamb. John the Baptist says, the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. And he told the nation of Israel, a lamb, and he says, the Lamb. I've got to ask you today, do you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ of the Bible that is God, that is virgin born of the tribe of Judah, has suffered and died upon that cross for your sins? Because there is another Jesus, according to Paul. There's a Jesus that will go around with watchtowers. There's a Jesus that you can eat and drink. There's a Jesus who's a good guy. There's a Jesus who's a teacher. There's a Jesus this. There's Jesus in Mexico. There's all kinds of lambs. Yet the Bible says there's the lambs. The Son of God, born of the Virgin, of God, who is God, the Lamb. You cannot show up to God expecting to go to heaven by a Lamb. It's got to be the Lamb. A specific Lamb in the Bible. We'll look at the other places. So a little for the Lamb. Let him and his neighbor next on his house take it according to the number of the souls. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no one in between. You're either a lady or you're a gentleman. In Exodus 12, the Bible says that that lamb, I'm supposed to take it to my neighbor's. And I'm a citizen of the United States of America. I live in Daytona Beach as a taxpayer under the Constitution of the law of this land. I can preach on the street, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, would take away the sin of the world. That's what the Bible says in Exodus chapter 12. Take that lamb to your neighbor. And I'll bring it to you, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And you can sit there with a pussy on your face and looking all upset and all in trouble and have no happiness and have no joy. And you can have that in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. But Matthew 6, I mean Mark 16 and Exodus 12 says, take that lamb and go preach him to the world. So... Every man according to the eating shall he make your count for the lamb. The next part of that verse. Your lamb. 
Your lamb shall be without blemish. Well, your lamb. Okay, your lamb. See, you take out of the land, out of the world, you take the lambs, you get the lamb. Now he has to be your lamb. Ladies and gentlemen, your mother's lamb cannot save your soul. The lamb that your pastor has cannot save your soul. It has to be your lamb. The lamb of God which take away the sin of the world has to be yours. It has to be by your heart. Receiving by faith. That that Lamb of God can take away your sins and wash you and have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You have to have at one time believe on the biblical Jesus. Put your faith and trust in the finished work of the Gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the Scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. You have to believe on that, for that to be your lamb. You can have the Jesus that's in the manger. You can have the Easter Bunny Jesus, but that's not the right Jesus. That's not the biblical Jesus. And just to know the name Jesus is not well enough. you got to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, the biblical Jesus, to have faith. He has to be your lamb. April 1987, that lamb became my lamb. As I knelt down in my grandma's living room and I asked Christ to save my soul, that lamb of God became my lamb. He has to be your lamb. You have to put your faith and trust in the lamb of God which take away the sin in the world. For you that have any, any practical use of the lamb of God, it has to be your lamb. And that doesn't mean just wearing a cross around your neck, having his picture in your wallet, or sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus. The question is, is Jesus Christ your Lamb of God which took away your sin? Is there a time that you ask Jesus Christ to save you of your soul of the sin? Has your name been written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Lamb's Book. We'll look at that later. And it says that that Lamb is to be without blemish. No defects. No marks. No extra parts. No lacking parts. Religion lacks. Religion has spots. Science has to change the textbooks every year, two, three, four years. The science that you are learning today in school is not the science I was taught when I was in school. And history is definitely not the history I was brought up with. And the land that is spoken about to the children of Israel of the Bible, Exodus chapter 12, has no spot, no blemish. And Jesus Christ is, not was, is sinless perfection. God, holy and righteous. So that land that is to be the land, your land, you better make sure that that Jesus you are believing on is the sinless Jesus. Without no adulterous affair with Mary Magdalene, without any sin, without anything that would cause him to be human. And yet, Jesus Christ, the lamb, my lamb, is 100% God and 100% man. Without sin, without spot, God manifested in the flesh. You couldn't find that in the Jehovah Witnesses that were over here. He's not God. And that's a lie. Their way is God is not Jesus. Jesus is not God. And that's a lie.
There's no life for them, I'm sorry to say. I would say that they were here too. But I'm here to tell you the biblical Jesus is a sinless Jesus. He's God manifested in the flesh, and He is the land that's the proof of God. Anything else will get you into a place called hell. Exodus 12 says you've got to have the land, you've got to have your land, it's got to be spotless, sinless, without blemish. And it has to be a male of the first year. Jesus Christ, the only begotten God, only begotten Son of God. That fits the qualification right there. The only begotten of God. Well, how on earth do you get Jesus and Satan or Lucifer as brothers when the Bible says he's the only begotten? In what womb did Satan or Lucifer come from? But see, that's a lie again. That's Satan, 844, John. My lamb, the lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world, is of a male. Of the first year, that is Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, you get to a place in America today, the gender misidentity. You're going to get to a point that you're going to preach Jesus Christ as the Son of God, and you're going to look at you like, oh, what's that? What's a male? What's a female? And the Bible says that God created man and woman. Nothing in between. Only America would come up with that idea. Too much college education. And not enough Bible. You gotta have a male lamb. Mary won't do it. Mary, Beck, and Eddie will not do it. Joyce Myers will not do it. That woman has not read Timothy and will not preach on a Timothy. I'm trying to tell you the truth. I'm trying to get you from the world of religion into the Bible. You see, you're poking fun. I'm doing exactly what Jesus done. I'm doing exactly what Paul has done. I've done exactly what Peter has done. They have named the names of the people to tell you they have heresies. But I'll tell you one name that's above all names whereby man must be saved. And it's the name of Jesus Christ, the male, the only Son of God, the only begotten Son, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. There is no other. You cannot come to God without Jesus, and you cannot come to God without Jesus. And you cannot come to God with another Jesus. And Paul warns us that there's other Jesuses. But it's so important that you get the right, true, biblical Jesus to put your faith and trust in is anything else. i got to say the word, hell. I haven't said that much today because I'm talking about the Lamb. I'm praising Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. That he suffered and died according to the scriptures. It was buried and arose again the third day according to scriptures. I am not ashamed of that. I am not the, ashamed to lift up my Lamb who has saved my soul, written my name in the Lamb's book of life, has given me love, joy, peace, long suffering, still working on patience. That's my sin. Yeah, I'm a sinner. I'm a saved sinner, saved by grace, for all have sinned, all have come short of the glory of God. I will not be perfected until I go home to glory. Salvation is not going to take care of your problems here. If you ask this gentleman over here, he'll only make it worse. All they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Coming to the Jesus I preach, you're not going to give $5 and get $5 million back. All your prayers will not be answered. But the Jesus I preach to you of salvation is will get your name in the last book of life. So when you die, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. King James 16 11. Anything else is a lot. So let's... In quoting the verse, let's go to the verse, John 1, 29. The next day, John sees Jesus coming unto him and said, 
Behold, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. The Lamb of God, which take away the sin. The Lamb, the sin. And sin is singular. It's not plural. There is no classification. All sins can be washed and clean by the Lamb of God. The Lamb. No other Lamb. I grew up Roman Catholic. And there was that nice picture of Jesus holding the Lamb in His arms. That's not Jesus. The 33 and a half years of Jesus' life, no one ever took His picture. They were unable to. Kodak had not been born yet. No one ever painted his picture. No one ever drew a sketch of Jesus. We don't know what Jesus looks like, but there's, there's some possibilities in the Bible, Song of Solomon, Revelation. But we don't know what he looks like. And if that Catholic painting is your holy that's not Jesus. That's another Jesus. Because Jesus Christ is the Lamb. Jesus Christ is the Shepherd. And He's the Lamb that laid down His life. The Shepherd went to the cross. The Lamb went to the cross. And suffered and died. Because of our iniquities. Because of my iniquities. And John the Baptist proclaimed to the people, that's him. Right there. There he is. Now, I cannot today point to a person and say, that's Jesus. You can't do that. Today, it's by faith. The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We will not see Jesus until we die or the rapture happens. He will not show up in your morning toast. He will not be in your cream of wheat. He's not going to show up in the tree limb. That's Satan deceiving you. Jesus Christ today, the biblical Jesus, is at the right hand of the Father right now. As recorded in the book of Acts. And He ain't going to just show up that He might entertain you with entertainment, that's not the Bible, that's not Jesus. You've got to receive Jesus by faith, for with the, with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. What I'm doing here today is I'm professing I'm saved, I'm professing Jesus saved my soul, and my mouth cannot be stopped of the glory of Jesus Christ and His saving power. How about you? We had a bunch of religious people up here, and they're gone. They can't open their mouth for glory and grace because they ain't got it. You ought not to be ashamed of your Savior. You ought not to be ashamed of the Lamb of God. You are to take it to your neighbors. You are to preach it in the streets. Proverbs chapter 1. I preached that before. So the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, can take away your sin. All your sin. There is no sin in your life that Jesus cannot wash. Not one. Isaiah 1.18 Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Those are quoting Scripture. See the King James Bible? It's not a magazine. It's not a missile. It's not the Koran. You use Korans to color in coloring books. You don't use it for religion. The King James 1611 Bible, the Word of God states, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. We'll see that Lamb is Jesus Christ. And only Jesus Christ. No other. There'll be people that stand up to Jesus and be five fold thumb to the right, to the left. He says, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. But I did the rosary. Depart from me, I never knew you. 
But I was baptized 26 times. I never knew you. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I went to the Holy Land. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. God, I am washed by the blood of the Lamb of Jesus Christ that shed His life, His blood, that I may be washed. Come down and welcome me to the joy of the Lord. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You can hear, well done by Jesus Christ, or depart from me, you work as iniquity, by anything else, or nothing else, but the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. First Peter 1 Peter 1.19 will back up Exodus 12. But with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. You're not going to. But if you were to have a dab of Jesus' blood and put it under microscope, it blow your eyeballs away. Acts 20.28 20, says that blood is God's blood. Acts 20.28. 20, it's the blood of God. How do you know that that's God's blood and He was virgin born? Because the male produces the female or the male gene. I don't know what that is called in science, but. So, Jesus Christ was not made a male by Joseph and Adam. He was made male by the blood, because it comes through the blood of God, Acts 20, 28. Signifying, first of all, that that lamb was to be a male, and that male, that lamb is to be without blemish. So Jesus Christ, made a male by God, by God's blood, became the first begotten of God, sinless perfection, by the virgin birth. It can be nothing else. Any man, human man, is conceived of another man by blood that's tainted. All your diseases come through your blood. Your cancers are by the blood. The mosquitoes, by the blood. Your illnesses, they take blood. When you go in the hospital, 3 o'clock in the morning, you're trying to sleep, they come in and take blood. And in the blood of Jesus Christ, Acts 20:28, 20, is God sinless perfection. That blood that was carried from the fist of the priest, punching him in the face and saying, well, who did that? Well, he was veiled. Upon the cat of nine tails, that blood. The blood upon those thorns. The blood that from Pilate's judges, judgment room to Calvary, that dripped on the, the ground in Jerusalem. The blood upon those nails. The blood that was on that wooden cross. It's the blood of God. The sinless blood of God. Peter says the precious blood of God. The blood that was on the spear, you're not going to find any evidence of that blood anywhere. I don't care what science program you watch, because faith comes by faith. Faith. And if you did have the blood of Jesus, and put it under the microscope. I'm going to believe Jesus Christ in His Word by faith. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of not, things not seen. I've never seen Jesus. I've never seen His blood. But I believe that Jesus saves. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Some people wish I wasn't here, but I'm here preaching the Gospel. Of the precious blood of that Lamb. The Lamb, excuse me, not that. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That Lamb. No other Lamb. But Paul says there are the Lambs. 
There are wolves in sheep's clothing. They look like lambs, but they're imitation. Who wants imitation food, and yet you allowed imitation preachers in your pulpits? Don't you know that will kill you more than that, that plastic in your Cheerios or whatever it is, or those dyes? And, uh, oh, my man, don't get no flu shots. They'll kill you, but without the flu shots, you die. And yet that's all imitation. And yet your preacher may be an imitation by what Paul says. Preachers of the pulpit of Satan with another Jesus, another gospel, and another spirit. Get rid of the imitation preachers and get to the right preacher. The preachers that preach the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. When's the last time sin in hell was mentioned from your preacher's lips? I'll give you one clue that your church is wrong and worldly and dead. Your Easter hunt this Easter, April 1st. I'm going to have love that day. April 1st, Easter, your... Your Easter bunny costume, your egg searching, will show you truly you got a worldly dead church. And those things can't be found in the Bible, friend. I'm only picking on those things because I want you to see the truth. I'm showing you the imitation so you can see the right, the pure, the precious, Jesus Christ. Lamb of God without no blemish. Precious blood of Jesus Christ. The Lamb. Notice how Peter said, a Lamb. Now, Peter didn't say the Lamb. He said a Lamb. Peter, why would you say that? Because Peter knew there will be other Lambs out there you'd be trusting your faith in. Of all those Lambs I talked about in Exodus 12, of those flock of lambs out there that people believe there's only one lamb, no lamb. And only that lamb will override all the lambs that you may be saved and have your, book, your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And that lamb is the begotten Son of God, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. There is salvation in no other but Jesus Christ. Jesus saves everybody else will damn Jesus Christ, God approved, religion, man-made. You know what happens when man makes something that breaks down? It dies, it kills over. There's a junkyard, there's a garbage, there's a place for man-made stuff and it's thrown out, it's disregarded, and that's the way of hell. Hell is talked about in the Bible, it's perishing, throw it away, get out of it. But Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life gets you to the Father, gets you eternal life. Get out of the man made and get into God approved. Get into God himself, Jesus Christ. John 1, 36. And looking upon Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. Twice. John said twice. Behold, the Lamb of God. And again, Peter said, A Lamb. Paul says another Jesus. There's all kinds of lambs, people, and you're believing in some of them. You are thinking right now, I've got my religion, I've got what I believe, and it may not be the lamb. And it does not have to be religion. Evolution is a lamb. I'm a good person is a lamb. Because the Bible says there's none that do it good, no, not one. You're not good enough. That's why Jesus Christ suffered and died, because you can't do it. Not of works, at least we boast. Listen, I'm not going to get to heaven one day and say, hey, look all the times I preached on the street. That ain't going to happen. The Bible says in Luke, that is my duty. It is my duty to preach. Because God told me to. And when I get to the, the, the street of gold in New Jerusalem, I'm going to worship Jesus Christ and praise only to Jesus Christ.
the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That only Lamb that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I'm going to seri ask, seriously ask you a question today. That Jesus you believe on, is it the biblical Jesus? And don't be afraid to say no. Don't be afraid to say, preacher, you know what? I don't think that's the biblical Jesus. No word does it say in the Bible to take Jesus orally. No word does it say to be baptized to be saved. Revel I mean, Genesis to Revelation says God created. Every book and every chapter of the Bible points to the Lord Jesus Christ who is God. You know what this Bible does? It scares men and women. Let me look to my left. Yep, it scares them. It makes you walk around and be angry that the pages are open and read and preached. I mean, if I had up here posters of pages of nudie magazines, the men would love it. But if I were to raise up a Bible and proclaim, proclaim that Jesus Christ saves, there'll be scorning, there'll be ridicule, there'll be hatred, just as the Bible said it would be to itself. As wonderful as Jesus was, do you know what the world gave him? They gave him death. A most violent death. That the priest encouraged the people to say, crucify him. Crucify the priest, I said. The priest cried out to crucify Jesus Christ, who the Roman government declared that he was. Three times without fault. Herod, I find no fault in him. The dying thief, hey, that guy's done nothing. Judas, I have betrayed the innocent blood. It's wonderful how the Bible speaks about Jesus and then the word the. He's the blessed hope. Let's move on. Revelation 5.12 Say with a loud voice. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Who is that to? The Lamb. Who's the Lamb? The Lamb of God. And how so dreadful is when men get that what God is supposed to get. When men are put into power. And when men see receive honor and glory. When we lift up man and man is a sinner. Oh my preacher. Oh, this television preacher, this radio preacher. Oh, how great this man is. Ph.D. Post hole digger. And Jesus Christ is not lifted up. Not at all. Hey, his music is here. A little late. Glory to God in the highest. And let all men, I'm pervading this verse, all men will fall down and proclaim that Jesus is Lord.
The honor, power, and glory is supposed to go to Jesus Christ, the Lamb. Not to a bunch of men who can't make right-hand turns. Not to people who hit balls or throw balls. By the way, you do know in the Bible that ball only shows up one place in the Bible. Just one. Isaiah. But the honor and glory goes too much to mankind. We will sit down and watch a bunch of people play with a football. But we will not go to church to see and hear the Word of God preached. We will go about our business and commerce and Daytona Beach, but we don't want to hear the Word of God preached. You're wasting your money. God will keep tax on your, your account. And what doesn't go to God? There's more money today in dog food than there is for missionaries amongst Christian people. But the Lamb of God deserves the strength, honor, glory, and blessing. Revelation 6.16 says, You who reject Jesus Christ when He comes and says to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of Him that sits us on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Can I quote John again about the Lamb of God? And you may say, well, yeah, go ahead. The Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. Ho, 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 ho. No, I don't want to quote that verse. The wrath of the Lamb in Revelation. Let me quote John again. For he that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son, Jesus, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Here is what the Bible just said. The very Lamb of God that you will reject is going to spill his wrath upon you. What is the wrath of God? It's a word I haven't said much today. It's hell. Rejecting the Lamb of God for another Lamb or no Lamb will end you up in hell. And there and forever will you be because you have not received the Lamb. You have not trusted the Lamb. You have believed something other than the Lamb. You have not given heed to the Word of God that's been preached today. You have sought another way of salvation that's not approved by God. And that will get you the wrath of God. And you will do it foolishly. Because you have heard the way of the gospel. You have heard what you need to do. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Romans 5, uh, Romans, uh, Revelation 21, 27. And there shall in no wise enter into anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh an abomination, or maketh a lie. Two, if you love Jesus, 
but they there which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Oh, he must love Jesus. I preach about the Lamb. That Lamb is Jesus. And the last book of the Bible says there's a book. It's called the Lamb's Book of Life. And they that are written therein will go to heaven. You may have your name on some church membership. Some secret society. Some kind of club. You may have your name somewhere. But if you do not have your name in the Lamb's Book of Life, you will go to hell. The Lamb. The Lamb. Has a book. And if your name is not written. In that book. You will suffer. The wrath of God. Because you have not believed and put your faith in. The Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. You have chosen to reject the Lamb. Slain from the foundation of the world, the Bible says. You have not given glory and honor to the Lamb. You may have given that glory and honor not to another man, but to yourself. Salvation is wrought by your heart. Believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And that moment your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. If you were to die, you'd be absent from the body and present with the Lord. In a moment, the world will give you their entertainment and their music. And you don't even realize that this man is going to play music. The very foundation of music in the Bible Amen. was Lucifer. Amen. I'm not a bad guy, all right? I'm just doing I never said you were. I'm just doing my job, man. Don't, don't I'm not saying, I'm saying music. I'm not, I'm not a bad guy. I'm just doing what I'm here to do, all right? Don't yeah. call me out. I'm I didn't call you. Out. I said music. I believe in God, don't call me out. Alright? Okay. As I said, music comes from the foundation of Lucifer. He was in charge of the heavenly choir. And they will use that to blood up the word of God. It will not praise Jesus Christ. It will worship the flesh. It will adorn sin. It will never get you any reward in eternity. But if you were to put your faith and trust in the blood of the land to take away the sin of the world, have your name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life of the precious Lamb without spot, And do what the Bible says and believe and grow in the Lord. And not be ashamed of the gospel. There are rewards. There are crowns to be offered. But you must first put your faith and trust. in the 
blood of the Lamb, the precious Lamb, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And as Judas sold out Jesus Christ for 30 pieces of silver, he was of the twelve and did the works of the twelve and valued the money more than he did Jesus. And Jesus, I mean, Judas himself could say, hey, I was an apostle. I'm a good apostle. And died and went to hell himself. And you need to step out from the world. You need to step out to God, Jesus Christ. And be washed from your sin. Isaiah 1.18 says, Come now. Revelation says, Come out from the people. My people. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life if you're to believe on Jesus. And even in your troubles and problems. Again, salvation is not going to end your troubles. It's not going to heal you. It's not going to make you a millionaire. But the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long suffering, patience, will help you go through those trials and tribulations. But you must first come to the Lamb. You must come to God. And God's not in a building. God is in Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no other salvation. There is no other hope that will save your soul. I mean, if this man is a Christian, I request him to play Amazing Grace. Let Amazing Grace be played throughout Daytona. The amazing grace that can save your soul. And that's a watered down hymn. Let his first song be amazing grace for a person that's a Christian and does good. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. A wretched sinner. On one afternoon asked Christ to save his soul. And had my name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal. I know where I'm going. My expectation of going to see Jesus is more than living out for tomorrow or the next day. Can you say that? Can you say without a shadow of a doubt if you were to die right now? You honestly and knowingly 100% sure you're going to be with God. Behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world from Exodus. Wait a minute, you know what? There's, there's one more place I didn't get. 
in Genesis. It's in Genesis. Let me find this. Genesis 22, I believe it is. Oh, how did I miss this one? Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Let's hear that one on this. Good morning. Having much too much fun today. Genesis 22:8. How did I miss this one? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. How did I miss that one? Thank you, Lord. Again, Abraham said, Ah, oh, lamb. Because each of you have a lamb that you're trusting. That's not the lamb. There's only one lamb of all the lambs. And only one of those lambs said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's the lamb. There's only one land that has the blood of God shed for our iniquity. It's funny. It's, uh, I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time in the Lord. You may not think I am. I'm just doing my job. I'm just doing my job. Preaching the Word of God. Going all the world and preach the Gospel. That you may be saved and know the power of God that He taken a dead body after three days and three nights and arose that body that is seated at His right hand at this moment. And the Bible declares at any moment, I don't know when. I hate to give you a date like 1914 or something, but... Any moment, Jesus is coming back. And He will take away those that are saved. Both dead and alive. Realize if that moment happened right now, all, everything right now just dropped and we'll be gone. It'll probably be a great world of applause. As those that have died in Christ and those that live in Christ will be for Him and with Him and by Him and near Him, loving Him, holding Him, praising Him, respecting Him. The one that suffered and died for our souls. The one that suffered and died to give us a new body. The one that owns our spirit. The one that created us. And our creator has suffered and died for the creation. That's my job. And the rewards that God will give to those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Rewards we don't deserve. But the main number one reason Number one reward is without without Jesus Christ you will go to hell. Without Jesus Christ you'll go to heaven. Hey, that Christian is trying to play louder and louder. I guess I'm done. Let the world take over. Let Lucifer play his music.